So, you want to know how to make your own Instagram filter, don't you? Using your Lightroom presets. Well, it's actually really easy. First things first, download in the description AR Spark Studio, which is the software that you're going to use to actually create the filter. Obviously, you need Lightroom and also download the template file for AR Spark Studio, which I've got in the description as well, because instead of you having to create one, I've just made one to make your life easier. So. No worries. I'm re-recording this intro because I called it Adobe Spark for some reason instead of AR Spark Studio. So you want to make sure you're using an iPhone photo in Lightroom to edit the filter because everyone's going to be using their phones on Instagram. No one's going to have a raw photo to use this filter on. So get your phone photo into Lightroom and then apply whatever your preset you want. I'm going to be using the sign preset. Once that's there, you want to copy and you only want to copy these settings here. This is really important. If you have any other box is ticked it's not going to work so make sure only these settings here are copied once you've done that click on copy press g to go to the grid view and then go over to the file that you downloaded and get the file that says edit this and put it into lightroom just drag it in import that and then press command v onto that then you're going to export that pressing command shift e you want to make sure it is png and these settings here. You don't want to have anything else clicked, just these export settings here, just PNG like that. Now go back into the folder and click on this and it's going to take you to this project file here. Just click X there and you want to go into the patch editor here and if that's not there, click on view and go show slash hide patch editor. And then go back to the folder and get your new filter which you just edited and drag it over here. And then that's going to appear here. You want to bring that down into the patch area here and connect the RGBA to the LUT. And now as you can see, the LUT has been applied onto this guy's face. This part's super important. Make sure you tick no compression, otherwise there's gonna be a lot of grain in your filter. I don't know why, but just, just do it. That's pretty much it. It's as simple as that. Now to get the filter onto your actual Instagram account, you have to click upload and export, go upload. And once that is done, it's gonna take you to the Spark AR Hub and you're going to select where you want the filter so i want this on instagram you want to make sure your accounts are linked up to whatever account you want it to be on so i want it on seventh era which is my main instagram account you can select up to like different categories and all that sort of stuff but this part here is where your preview is going to come up so for me i just chose a video from when i was in new york and it applies your lot to that video as a preview so people who come to your filter page can see what your filter looks like. Your little icon here is just that little icon part, which is the preview. So once you've finished here, you wanna click on save, and then you're gonna be able to click on this test on device, and then copy this link, and then paste it into the browser on your mobile device. And then that's gonna open up Instagram, and you can actually test the filter out to see if it's right. And then from there, you can just test out the filters. You can go back into the Spark Editor, change things in Lightroom, and then just refine your filter from there. Keep testing it until it works. Once you've filled out everything here, just go submit, and then it'll come up with a little box showing you how long it's gonna take roughly for this to be approved. And then once it's approved, you're gonna have your own filter. Yeah, that's how you do it. It's really easy. Like once you've done it, it's awesome because you can go on Instagram and every time you do a story, instead of like using someone else's filter, you have your own style, your own vibe. As a photographer, that's pretty cool to be able to have your own look on your Instagram story. So hopefully you've made it, hopefully it worked, hopefully I haven't fucked up this tutorial somehow but um yeah that's all for today's video if you did like it remember to leave a like help me out by hitting subscribe and as always don't think just do repetitious shop and blaze like me 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 she my serving up every single plate the hottest in the season even summer looks away because i got something to prove i'm here because i pay my dues so please tell me something new i'm in the